Hi guys, so this is my wrap up for June. Um, I'm pretty pleased with what I've read and also I've listened I think with two video, two books. So yeah, let's get to it. So as you guys know, every first week from the month we have a um, readathon. So I'll leave the link for you guys below. The first book that we have for the group li uh, group reading it was Every Day by David Leviathan. I'll leave the uh, book for you guys here. It was a pretty cool book. It's um, a disc a girl or boy. You don't know exactly what it is. She, since she was born, the first day, uh, her spirit or who's she she's been like jumping from one body to another um like possessing everyone else but um until she finds this person where she falls in love with but then she finds out that it's more complicated than what she thought and maybe she's not the only one it's pretty cool you should definitely read it and I just saw it. it's a second book also out so I might read that one too it was pretty pretty cool and it's very far from what I usually read like it's not my type of book so you guys should definitely read the same one that I read during that uh, week it was the Vampire Hunter's Daughter the complete uh, collection part 1 to 5 by Jennifer Malone Wright right here for you guys it is really small I believe it's only a few pages in Let's see, about 210 pages, yeah, 210 pages, and um, I had also, because it was a free one I got, I got this one from the author, and then also I received the um, PDF to read it on my Kindle, and I read that one, and uh, apparently on that one you have a little bit of, like, you know, sneak peek on the next. A series or short story that she has and it's connected with this one and I really wanted to be like just why didn't I read this one because then it will be just cool you know like yeah it's so cool it's perfect and it's just perfect I yeah okay so let's just make a short okay this uh, book it's like about a girl that uh, she is like born uh, her mom was a hunter like vampire hunter and her dad was a vampire of course so um they're uh, at the beginning she thinks she's the only one but then they find out they're more like that uh, it's a small triangle like love triangle in there but it's pretty cool a lot of adventure and very 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 fast reading i think i read it in about four hours maximum five it was pretty cool and uh, very entertaining I definitely recommend it especially if you like vampires the next one that I did rated uh, it was in, in that time and that time I started reading it but I didn't finish it it took me about the whole month because yeah I was all over the place not organized with anything or yeah it was a uh, Aragon by Christopher Paulini right here I don't think it's too many pages Anybody remember? Let's see, let's see, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It is 497 pages. But what I love about the one that I have, it shows you the maps right here. I don't know if you guys can see. On both sides, it shows the maps. It's pretty cool. I love it. Um, I don't think I have to tell you guys anything about it because maybe most of you guys have seen the Ergon the movie. It is, um, of course, about this um, guy named Aragon that uh, he finds an egg. Well, he thinks it's a stone. He's really poor. He's a farmer. And he thinks it's a very precious stone. He's trying to sell it. And then people, when he finds, uh, they find out where he has it from, they don't want it and all of that. And one day it happens to hatch and to come a dragon out of it. And from there, all the adventure and everything comes out, and I truly love it. The only thing that I hate about this and I love more in the book is the ending. Just love how the movie ends, and I don't like how this one ends. I'm already bringing it out of the second one, because this is the one that I actually read out of. You guys can see. I'm in the eldest, I believe, in the second or third chapter? Second chapter, yeah. Um, and I'm not, I'm not happy not happy at all but uh yeah it's definitely a great book i just love it i just wish like you know 
when you have read like the last two chapters in the legion it's kind of that kind of it's not that kind of reading or anything like it's completely different but that kind of feeling when you just wanted like to erase those chapters and to like redo them it's like that kind of book like you want to make your own way so that was another one that I finished I think yesterday oh last night you I stayed up until 2 a.m. and also I was reading to it I finished it and because it happened how it happened I wanted to know more and I ended up reading like two more chapters in and I'm like no he cannot be so yeah I ended up uh, reading out of the this also uh, the next one that I also listened so I listened to every day and to the legend of the guardians the Owls of Gahu, the Guardians one, it is a 1 to 3 collection. So 1, 2, and 3. Uh, I listened to it. I think I started in May, the end of May, to listen to it. And then I stopped and I uh, picked it up again. And it's pretty cool. Again, this is another book that I start listening to it because I watched the movie. So I truly, truly love it. You guys should definitely watch it. If you have watched the cartoons, it is a lot more like uh, adventure and things that, didn't, of course, are not in the movie. But you will love it more. You, it is just perfect. And I'm pretty sure I'll continue this series. It's just amazing. I truly love it. The next one that I did actually read it for this month and I didn't expect it to actually like it because of uh, what he said at the back that it might be like the um, Game of Thrones and um, Hunger Games and I was like I don't know I didn't don't kill me people it's only my opinion I did enjoy reading Hunger Games it's just I didn't love it as much as other people it wasn't like I don't know it was eh was a good book, but not a big deal. I like the bonfies more. Anyway, then um, going in, I think two or three chapters in, it changed the whole thing. I'm like, okay, now I like it. I got so into it, and I was like, oh my god, oh my god! It is Red Rising by uh, Pierce Brown. I just love it. It was an amazing, amazing price when I bought it. It was, I believe. Nine dollars or ten dollars, something like that. Um, yeah, he's hard copy, and I truly love it. When I watch this cover, I'm like, it's about angels or something like that. Well, I I didn't know if I could call it angels. It's not really angel. It's it's just perfect. It's a uh, okay. So Daryl, it's this guy. He's a red color, right? And he works all the way down in the mines and anything like that. And something really bad happens to his wife and then to him and somehow they uh, he ends up uh in the hospital let's call it like that and he's trying to um avenge his wife by um joining joining forces with somebody to go against like all the lies that have been told to the red ones but apparently the gold ones the ones with the wings uh the gold uh, color ones they're the most powerful ones but they're the liars because they said so many things uh to the gold uh, to the red ones i don't know how to speak anymore to the red ones that they said that um it's not livable they're on mars and they say oh you cannot live in it anymore we have to work it out so we can uh, get so many things to be able to like plant and things like that well he manages to get to the surface and he sees that it's actually everyone is living in there and has like cities and things like that so yeah it's pretty cool and it's really like the hunger games i haven't read the uh, game of thrones i have watched a little bit of the show so it's kind of ideal of that, but a game, uh, the Hunger Games is pretty much like that because they go in this like um, in a test, like with the academy, they go in the test, and in that test is like pretty much a game. But that game it has each like uh, its test, and uh, it's very connected with the Hunger Games because it's like some people they have food, some people they don't have. Whoever finds it, whoever know how they know how to work it out and uh, get allies and things like that. It's pretty pretty cool. You should definitely read it. It's worth the hype for this book. It's amazing. I cannot wait to read the other two. I was like, please tell me what's going on. And yeah, I think those are the books that I have read for this month. Um, I'm pretty pleased about it. Um, if you Let me know if you guys have read any of this. If you read it this month, what you read this month. And um, 
Don't forget to subscribe and bye bye!